There is an amazing change going on down Mexico way. But to understand it, you must see it and feel it. So off we go, starting here at the picturesque Rancho Grande and south to Sonora for a thrilling adventure, seeing some of the oldest and most interesting spots on this continent. We cross the international boundary line at Nogales, Arizona, and walk into Nogales, Sonora. Or you may go in your car if you prefer. You may, with the use of guidebooks, direct your own tour. Or you can, if you wish, hire a guide who will drive your car for you. If you can outsmart this fellow in a trade, you're good. Bargaining is part of the fun of your visit. You will find some mighty attractive displays in the store windows. And inside, there are so many things to buy, one can hardly decide which articles to take home. Hand-woven baskets galore, with all sorts of strange and unique designs. The cavern in Nogales is a high spot of your visit. Here you may dine on excellent food and be entertained by a floor show with beautiful senoritas and clever caballeros dressed in elaborate regional costumes. To Nogales, the cavern is what Ciro's is to Mexico City, or the Stork Club to New York. People come here from everywhere to soak up a little Spanish atmosphere. Mexican dance bands provide excellent music. Americans like it. After you've made your purchases on your way home, you check your loot at the U.S. Customs. Just think, you can bring back $200 worth of plunder, duty free. There's that basket again. Heading south from Nogales on an excellent highway, you will find St. Ignacio Mission, one of the many established by Father Kino. And Magdalena Mission, also founded by Father Kino. Another of the Pino chain, Pito Quito. The Bells of Atil. And here is Caborca Mission. What romance along this trail of Father Kino, the man who traveled throughout the Southwest and into the ages. And now we make a brief stop at Rancho El Alamo one of the largest cattle ranches in Mexico. Here we see herds on a grand scale and real vaqueros whose knowledge of cattle raising has been handed down through generations. Many pens and corrals are needed to handle so many cattle. Big herds here are not uncommon. A cattle drive in this country is reminiscent of the Texas trail days. It's a long, hard trail, cold in winter. But these vaqueros are used to that.
The vaqueros are hard riding, hard working men, equal to any emergency. This cow is almost a Texas Longhorn. And now we drop down to the capital city of Hermosillo, the hub around which the development of Sonora revolves. Here is the famous old Palacio, our seat of government. Some of these magnificent cathedrals date back many years, yet others are quite new. Even the most casual walk through the streets of this throbbing capital city will give you some idea of what is happening in Sonora, and particularly in Hermosillo. Old and new combine surprisingly here in a multi-million pesos building and development program. See what I mean? Here is a fine modern clinic as well equipped and staffed as any in the United States. And this, if you please, is a bank. And if you need an office while in Hermosillo, you might stop and inquire, for here is your office building, the latest thing off a of blueprint. They have universities too fine modern buildings that are part of this great development program we spoke of earlier. These stained glass windows depict the early history of Mexico and are works of art. The library and museum are other contributions to this effort that is bringing about such a marked change down here. At Weymouth, the Playa de Cortez Hotel is one of the recreational spots of Sonora, the famed deep sea fishing resort on the Gulf of Lower California. Suppers are a specialty here. just like Freddy at the Woodstock Bar in New York. That ought to be good. It's a Wyman special. Real Mexican music. The morning sun and another day of fun. What a life. 
A speedboat ride is a nice way to start the day off. So refreshing. And what a setting. Deep blue sea, cloud flecked skies, and the salt spray in your face. If you are looking for a restful spot in Sonora, here's the place to go, Los Alamos. It is Mexico's ghost town. Its massive buildings, erected by helmeted Spaniards from Sinaloa, have stood since the year 1539. From the mint here, more silver was shipped to the Spanish crown than from any other section of Mexico. Today, it is peopled with a handful of natives who are direct descendants of the early Spaniards. But the tourists are discovering it and it is expected to boom again, just as it boomed in the days of silver, more than four centuries ago. This bird's going up in the world. Perhaps he's the early bird. He won't get any worms away up there, but he'll get a sunbath. Hollow footsteps in the sacred stillness that belongs to ages past. They are watching the new crop of tourists go by. In spite of its decayed past, Los Alamos educates its children in modern schools. people, though remotely situated, maintain a social standard equivalent to that of modern cities. South to Sonora, down Mexico way. Yes, it's true, there is an amazing change going on down here, but you have to see it to believe it.